Hello, this is the way that we organize ourselves to analyze a short story, novel, or play. It's a very simple procedure. Now, most of always, a short story, novel, or play is going to follow a scalene triangle. And by that, we mean a, a triangle without even sides. Now, on the left-hand side, you're going to see the rising action. That's this right here, going up, rising action. And the top is going to be the climax. The top will always be the climax. That's the turning point. Then there's falling action and down to resolution. All of these things have a point in the short story and a meaning. What exactly is rising action? Well, rising action includes what we call the exposition. And what does that exposition include? Well, it's the things you would think it would include. The setting, which is the time and place of the story. The characters, who are the people in the story. The protagonist, who is the main character. The antagonist is the person who causes problems for the protagonist. You can call him the villain or the bad guy. And after the exposition, then the plot starts. The plot starts to develop in the exposition. What is a plot? We all know what a plot is. It's a series of events that make up a story. A plot always has a conflict, and the conflict is the struggle or problem in a story. The rising action continues until it reaches the climax. Remember the top of the pyramid? What's the climax? Well, it's the point in a story where something has to happen to begin to resolve the conflict. After the climax, the falling action begins and contains events that happen before the resolution or the end of the story. So you're going down the opposite side of the triangle when you have falling action. What is the resolution? The resolution, that sounds you know, exactly like what it should be. The resolution is the outcome of the story. Find out what happens to the characters. All short stories also have a theme. These are very important. The theme is the big message the author is trying to get across to you. It's the big, big message. Some examples of theme are love conquers all, people can change, life isn't fair. All of those are examples of themes. Themes are never one word. It's, the theme is not love or hate. It's always a message, like love conquers all. Now there's more to a short story too. All stories also have a mood and a tone. These are the toughies. Mood, this is how you feel when you are reading the story. For example, does it make you happy or does it keep you in suspense? That's a mood. It creates a mood within you. Now, a tone is deciding on a tone can be very difficult and you must closely examine the words the author uses. The tone reveals the author's attitude and it influences the mood. Does the author use bright, cheerful words and settings, or are they harsh words in a gloomy setting? The tone can also be influenced by the point of view, which we will discuss later. Some examples of tone could be a sinister tone, you know, ooh, things are bad, bad, or a lighthearted tone, where things are happy. Let's recap by looking at our scaling triangle once more and using the story Stray as our example and I'll point out some examples as we go along. Okay, here we are back at the beginning. Remember I told you the exposition would be down here. This is where we find out the characters, the setting, um, the time of the action, and then there's rising action. These are the things that happen before the climax. Let's say we're doing the short story Stray. You could put Doris finds the dog, Doris takes the dog inside, P 
parents say they can't keep the dog. Dog is in the basement. Father says dog has to go back when the weather changes. All this is leading to the climax. Now the climax in Stray is very clear cut. When the father puts the dog in the trunk of the car and closes the lid, wow, that's the climax. Because you don't know at that point what's going to happen to the dog. Is it going to, going to the pound or will it survive? We, don't, we just don't know at that point. That is the climax. Then the falling action starts. Doris goes to her room and cries herself to sleep. Uh, the different things that happen to her while she's, she's thinking about what's going on with the dog. And then finally we get down to the resolution. We find out, wow, there's a happy resolution. Doris lets to keep, gets to keep the dog after all. So that is a happy resolution. That is the end of the story. The resolution is the end of the story. Now, tone and mood in Climax are, and, 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 and uh, Stray are very closely related. The mood and the tone are very closely related. There's a very cold mood that goes along with stray. If you'll look at some of the words, and we'll figure those out in class, some of the words that add to the cold, cold mood. And then there's the tone. The tone is, the author takes kind of almost a cold attitude towards his characters and kind of, you know, uh, he's objective, but a little bit tough on the characters, and we'll explain that in class. Also, hmm, we've got to come up with a theme. What would be a great theme for Stray? Well, who changes the most in this story? Let's see, does Doris change the most? No, she always wants to keep the job, to keep the dog. Does the mother change very much? No, she's always just kind of a supporting character. Who changes the most? That's right, it's the father because he decides they can keep the dog. So, a good theme for Stray would be people can change because the father goes from totally not wanting to keep the dog to changing his mind completely and having compassion for the dog. Now, all short stories, like I said, are going to follow this triangle. Rising action, climax, falling action, resolution. They're all going to have a theme. They're going to have mood. They're all going to have tone. And they're all going to have point of view, which we'll get into at a later time. But please use this. Whenever you're confused about looking at a short story, just go back and review this video, and it will tell you exactly what to look for when you're trying to analyze a short story. Point of view is the aspect from which a story is told. <clears throat> First person is always going to be I, me, we, or us. I went to the store. We were together. We took a trip. All of these would be first person. You is rarely used. You, it was like in advertising. You got up this morning, you went downstairs, you brushed your teeth. That would be second person. Third person is by far the most used. He, she, or they. He went to the store. She went to the store. They are our friends. Those are all third person. Third person omniscient. This one's very important. All knowing. Omniscient means all-knowing. A third-person narrator can...